Yeah, we've been doing uh, we're between Kingdom Hearts, Pokemon, and Battle Network. We're doing three RPG games. Yeah, th- which is m- two more than one, which is the best amount to be doing. Yeah, we. I was like thinking, man, you know, our, one RPG is a, is a good ratio, and then we just found ourselves doing three of them, and we didn't notice it. None of us like talked about it. They, neither one of us talked about it. No. And, and we just found it, and we're just like. I want to do a platformer again. The last platformer we did was fucking Yoshi's Story. A great, fine example of video game platforming. <sighs> and, of know, course. And you know what? It was like, you know, Ratchet and Clank's good. Mario Galaxy's good. Let's do them both. So we're starting with Ratchet, and then we'll... Uh... Yeah, I uh, I downloaded... Aud- Aud- bought Galaxy, <laughs> but uh, the purchase disc was corrupted. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to have to purchase another disc. Replace the disc. To uh, get that working again. It's a good thing the shop is 24-7. And they they didn't shut down the purchase. (laughs) You want to start or should I? Uh, You you can start with the first levels. Okay. How how, how do we do this? Uh, Change on deaths and uh, and on level completions. Uh, something sure. Or on level completions only, or on deaths, or see if uh, HDMI wants to show the thing. Oh no, we need the audio for the intro. We can uh, might have to reset the game. I mean, they're seeing the title screen. Yeah, they're seeing. Looks it. pretty, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's on our end. Uh, it's, don't uh, worry. Yeah. It's uh, this is on the PS2. They put out a collection for PS. Three? Maybe PS4 That's as just well. what I heard. That's I don't know me. if it's like upscaled or looks prettier at all. There we go. Is there a... Yeah, the reset works on the There. Okay. Like nothing happens. Ow. Hey, uh, chat member. <laughs> Probably gonna be shitty viewers. I spent uncom- uncountable hours playing this game. I've put a great deal of time into the Ratchet games. This game series is fun. I, like, did you play it before I played it with you? No, no. The first time we played it was at Job Corps. Okay, so uh, I, I introduced Jack to it. And yeah, it's uh... And now it says no signal on the Elgato. Okay, there it is. We're fine. And now it's not on the TV! No, no. <laughs> now it's still on the TV. Okay. I saw the text. New game. Uh, I was gonna say check load first. We're gonna have to move some files around. Whoa, oh, no shit. You just load Can you one up. Can you reset it? Can you reset it? I... <laughs> just press buttons, Jack. <laughs> this one looks good. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There, we switched it over. I died. <laughs> With more punch. Uh, you're like. I guess I get uh, swap memory cards. I, I probably have a complete regular file, a fresh New Game Plus file, and a complete New Game Plus file. I'm guessing those are the three. You want to do a New Game Plus file? No. Is that what you're thinking? It's fine, there's our technical difficulties with the screen. Now, is there a way to move files, I'm wondering? Or do you have to, like, load it, save it somewhere else, load it again? I guess we could do New Game Plus, but then everything's really expensive, and I think you'd start with all the weapons. Yeah, let's or... just do a New Game. We do a New Game Plus, it's gonna... It's gonna we'll just, we'll game. just work on File 4, I guess. Yeah. Bryce. Need to worry Bryce. about any of this. Oh! Oh yeah, if he plays the Ratchet in the German. <laughs> it's gonna... It's probably just gonna affect the, the, the menu options. Bryce. Yeah. Bryce. Also, is this... I only see this on, like, EU copies of the game. Like, I don't ever see Bryce. this, uh... Bryce. Options? Or just, uh, I don't know. It'll just be File 4, I guess. Because I remember back in my early, uh, ROM hacking days. Oh, he's... Hello, I am Ratchet. I am here to fix the machines. He's shirtless in this game for most of it. I think for all of it, actually. It's not as bad as Kingdom Hearts, but this also looks kind of dark. Yeah. Thank you for using help desk technology. Meanwhile, in a factory on a nearby planet. 
giant fucking robots. Defective! You are a defect. Hello, I am Sashomaru. <laughs> Die, Inuyasha. Uh oh. Oh, please play it in Italian. Ah! Oh. <laughs> yeah. I am a Rachid, Rachidio. <laughs> that's that's Mama like to you, Mario. Hey, oh yeah, Ratchet. Hey, you're so you say Shishomaru, He's voiced by Shishomaru. He right? is David K. Yes. It, that was is one of the weirdest voice actor connections to me is I found out Sashomer from Inuyasha also voices Clank. I don't hear- that's the only other thing I had heard him in and I found out he's Clank. <laughs> so those are his only two roles for me. He's secret agent Clank. With the only thing that tops it off the top of my head is finding out that Cortex is now voiced by Sonosuke. It's- I, that still <laughs> blows my mind. <laughs> I think we're in game now. Better so he hijacked the spaceship. Out. It's just Stitch. It's the start of Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, or Jack and Daxter. That was, that was a bold Disney movie. The, being the focus of the plot, being you know, child protective services. Wait a minute. Hold on. Do I have do, do I have weapons or oh I, I only start the bomb with, glove. That's usually what you start with. Okay. Yeah, the child protective services stuff was very uh, uncomfortable for an alien movie. Maybe it was a child protective movie. It just happened to feature aliens. <laughs> well. Stitch was originally a dog, and they thought, hmm, this is a little dark for Disney. <laughs> Let's mix it up. Also, his name is Bubbles. It's, not, not, no, not just Bubbles, Cobra, Cobra Bubbles. Bubbles. And then somebody was like, ask him, hey, but, uh, your name? Yes, I know. Hello, Mr. And Clark. And it turns out that that wasn't even his real name. It was just... Okay, I gotta get used to these. Okay, tell us, Charles, does it, uh, does it change the voices, or is it just the... Is it just the text? Okay, I got it now. Is it like you hold triangle and use the yeah, stick? Yeah, you, you, you hold triangle and... Yeah, you, yeah. You. So you want to collect as many screws as possible whenever Bolts. you can. Bolts, sorry. Because they're important. Jax the got his mind on hentai. Frogs. Gotta kill the frogs. Lethal on this planet. The wildlife is bad, despite the fact that apparently people just live here. Presumably kids, too. So now that you've played Spyro, you probably- I, you can recognize the Insomniac frog sound effect. Yeah, I do. Uh... I gotta say, I like this game more than Spyro. Yeah. Just the last time I remember- No, I do too. Cause it- it, it feels like you're more in control. I, I, I never I, had problems controlling Spyro, but I do like this series a little bit more. I enjoy both of them very much. Try to, uh, can you switch to the language in the middle of a level? And options. Oh, sub. So oh, we better probably should turn those yeah. on. I guess not, darn. Oh well. I, I was gonna humor Charles, but we'll, uh, we'll check it out later, I guess. We'll save it, then. It's how. <laughs> check to see if they have Italian voice actors listed for this game, because if, if so, then, then, uh... It could be something. Yeah. If they don't, then, uh, it's probably not gonna happen. Oh yeah, that's right. Boomerang mode. No, 2002, not 2016. Also, I want to say that, uh, that, uh, uh, this game's, uh, not easy. I wouldn't say it's hard, or not hard, it's not easy. So, yeah. Oh, yes, I'll, ra I'll add Ratchet and Clank, the 2002 video game, to my watch list, IMDB. Yeah, you'll watch me play it, and then, and then I'll watch you play it. Gosh! 
We're almost to a thousand. <laughs> Soundtrack's pretty good this game, too. Uh, IMDB does not list other language uh, voices on IMDB. Could mean that they were not unionized, but uh, it could also mean that, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, you just die immediately if you fall off a pit, that's right. Yeah. You don't, uh, you don't, like, it doesn't do the thing. Uh, Charles thinks that it changes the spoken language. Alright. You wanna- I'm back at the beginning of the level, you wanna exit out? Sure. Go back to the menu. Can I save? Let's see. Uh, quick game. Uh, yeah, it, it has our file there, so that's as well, much I have as more, need to Well, I have more, uh, uh, bolts, yeah. bolts than I had before I started, so. Alright, it's a quick right. game. Oh god, I gotta navigate the menus in Italian. <laughs> You know what? At least They're it's better than Japanese. Well. Yeah. At least it's better than Japanese. Like, Japanese would be uh, Italian, impossible. Right. Lingua! Casa una partita! You're not even trying. Caricha una partita. Caricamento, por favor. Let's do it. I need to it. <laughs> See, it's like, it's like a... <laughs> Lenette Velli. Oh, is there not... It didn't show any, uh... Maybe it'll still show the help desk messages? No, we, it's, uh... We saved, so it shows those as are already having shown. Uh, where's the help... Oh. What do you mean? Never mind. It's fine, we'll like get to they, the first cutscene. Yeah. And... What if we what if we switch to Italian and the music just suddenly changed to something like all mafia? <laughs> So if we switch to Germany, it'll, it'll, it'll play. Just, it'll play. It'll play uh, Wagner. It, or it goes just to all polka. We switch to Italian. It sounds like a double jump. All right, that's good. I I'm like so jump. sad we didn't get Japanese Sonic voice in Sonic Heroes. Oh man, that would have made playing that game in different languages worth it. Oh! Okay. <laughs> All right, we're in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's different for us from just playing the game in Italian. You, we wanted Mario. <laughs> Mamma mia, Clank! <laughs> Alright. Oh, but now we're not gonna hear David K. It's fine. Maybe David K speaks Italian. <laughs> David K, we want you to speak in Italian. Well, I'll try. Do you also know German, France, and Spanish? Wasn't French. there was a Monty Python, they did a, a show? They did an entire show in French. Without knowing French at all. They memorized every word. Yep, and uh, they did a bit where they were speaking in, in French, and they had some American tourists there uh, speaking English. I, I saw that one. That one was pretty funny. Just start playing different versions of Pizza Time. Apparently that's memeing, the the Spider-Man pizza music. <laughs> well, oh, was just... that it? <laughs> yeah. Just... Or was it? No, it's... <laughs> that was it, yeah. <laughs> I, I always well, assumed that was... Because it sounds so shitty, like... Well, I always just assumed that was an actual Italian song. Is, is it not? It is, but the way they do it, it's, it's so shitty in the, in, in the, in the game. I uh, presume it's, it's charmingly pretty... shitty, though. It's fine. Yeah. It's it's charmingly shitty. That's that's why it's memeing. If it was just shitty, people would just be like, "Oh man, this is the worst." But no, there's something charming about it. I think that's also why. The <laughs> Three minizio, minizio. I mean, theoretically, you don't need to re understand the language to play this game. So, so fuck it's it. It's not not a dialogue heavy game. We miss out on a lot of the jokes though. Is this, this, this game? We're not gonna do the whole game like this. Uh oh. I did the same fucking. There you go. <laughs> I Over to me. I forgot about. I see those. It's I think visibly there's. Obvious. I think they're stairs every time. <laughs> they look like stairs from where I'm at. And yes, I'm wearing my glasses. You know what? At least we'll be able to buy the first upgrade or, or gadget or something like yeah. really quickly. 
so you have a multitude of weapons in this game. Yes. I still only use the wrench. The wrench is a, is a, is good. Just because uh, I'm, I'm a melee guy, and you're not really... There's not really an incentive to use the weapons in this game, like there is in the later ones. Yeah, the they're just... They're supposed to make it easier, but... I don't know. Wrench doesn't have ammo. <laughs> wrench got range. I feel like if that wasn't a thing, then the weapons would be more useful. Yeah. There's a point later in the game where it gets hard enough that you really need them, but... Oh, yeah! Yeah. It, before that, you really don't. Which is what I loved about the later games, is the ability to upgrade weapons just by using them. Then I used every weapon. This is one of those situations where the first game in the series is, uh, is pretty weak, but it gets better as it goes on. I wouldn't say it's weak, it just misses some well, important features. Yeah, well, I mean... It started strong, but... It compared to the other games. Yeah. The third game in particular had, had some really good upgrades. Hello, Darian. Hey, the Darian. fourth game was had a very expansive weapon upgrade system. Like, you could customize weapons. Oh, yeah, deadlocked. That's gonna be fun to get to. I don't think I finished it. No, we uh, we stopped that one partway through. I guess we just got distracted by other stuff. I think I think I was leaving soon uh, from Drop Corps at the time. Maybe that was it. It's gonna be great when we get that, uh, that upgrade that lets you get, uh, smash all boxes in an area. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. That, that'll make things a lot easier. Or the, uh, the sound machine, you remember just camping on the, on the racetrack? Just <laughs> with a button held down, grinding bolts. That's how you get the rhino! <laughs> Rip you a new one! Oh man. I wonder what they're gonna call it in Italian. Oh. That's fine. Oh. I, can, I can... I can sell this! <laughs> Fixing things. Ciao! Uh. What? Oh, the subtitles! Oh. oh, he's suave as shit! <laughs> Mamma mia! Oh, the, the subtitles are in Italian, too. Yeah. Do you know where Quark is? I need to find him. The universe is in danger. The galaxy's in danger. Uh, uh, I don't know. He's a TV character. Here, watch this. That's not... That's not Kevin Michael Richardson. <laughs> this feels wrong. Il Cunete. Our planet's fucked. We need a new planet. We're gonna build one. Out of yours. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> you don't like it too bad. Hi, Chairman Drek. I own everything. By the way, this is what we're gonna use. Kevin Michael Richardson, the voice of every black person in black man in animation who is not Phil Lamar, the other voice of every black man in animation. So, uh, yeah. We'll let you live on our planet for like a million bucks or something. I don't think he even offers that. He just says, fuck you, we're taking your planet. Also, yours will explode after we take a piece of it. Anyway! Fuck you! Fuck. Did I mention fuck you? Kiss my ass. What? What do you mean we're still recording? Well, those people are fucked. We should do something. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Let's go get Cork. Be great. We'll team up. Yeah, sounds good. I got a wrench and, and some bombs. Germany! I got the new video game! <laughs> this is all gibberish! I can't understand a word of it! But it's in my native tongue! You're speaking English! What the? Let's go! We should go now. Ameriglia del Presidente Drake. Orbita de Bell. So they left. Well, we should do something. Go get him. Cool. 
Oh, flies! I watched an hour-long video essay about why the remake is bad. One of the reasons in the remake, Ratchet and Clank are like best friends right away. Oh, then there's hardly any point in the game where they butt heads. There was, yeah, there was kind of an arc in this. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry, bro! You alright? The fire day. Wait, what? I need you to take There's a out lot of these cutscenes immediately. You need to take out. Uh, no, no, I think that's a dude who's like a sp an ambassador, and he's like, "Hey, your planet's fucked. Fuck you." But we needed to live. Nope. Bye. <laughs> but we needed to live. Where are we supposed to go? I don't know. Not my problem, Luigi. Get out of here. By the way, no guarantees the next flight you settle on will be any same. <laughs> Alright, you're out of here. Okay, okay. okay. I, lo I love how there's English even in like other non-Asian languages. I mean, okay is just kind of all, uh, just, it's universal. Okay. Like, every language is just okay. Entrando nella atmosfera del planeta Novalis. All right, can we save and switch it back? As soon as we can. Can we use this to... Ow, <laughs> dead. Accidentally! <laughs> 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 he, he doesn't sound like a robot at all! <laughs> he just sounds like a dude! <laughs> oh, don't turn off while this is showing. All right, let's switch it back. <laughs> that's that's good. That's funny that they that they uh, did that though. See, si. no. <laughs> that's actually that's actually. Uh, Abandona. No. See. <laughs> si. Oh man, can you imagine this game in German? It's just. Well, I don't have to imagine it, Jack. <laughs> yeah, switch, switch it to German for a spot. <laughs> we can just, like, open every stream by starting in a different language. Yeah, or... If only we could play cutscenes from uh, other... Uh... There's not, like, a cutscene player, is there? There's no. not, like, an options... Uh... No, not really. German now. Maybe later, Charles. Next stream! That'll, that'll be your impetus your uh, reason to tune in. Alright. Alright, on first level 1-1, one, one, green. Sorry, Ratchet. Uh, it seems like my uh, audio input, output uh, sensors were stuck in Italian. What's it? Was... What planet is Italian? I, I don't know. That was a bit in uh, Toy Story 3. Oh, you remember okay. they showed in the commercials uh, Buzz's like, language setting got set to a Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> Go up, please. You know what? Toy Story is like a, is like a lighter and softer Westworld, if yeah. you think about it. The sentient androids? Yeah. They're basically sentient androids. You know, summer toys last all year, all summer long. The the kid from AI talks to the Toy Story characters? Super toys list. Oh. <laughs> I relate, buddy. Now is there a is there a shop? Can we get other weapon yet, or is that uh, not? I think I think so. Do we have to go through some of the level first? Oh, there it is. All right, Pyrocitor. Hi, there, Hi. <laughs> Hi, Fuzzball. Do an oh, we're still a little bit short. <laughs> oh. So, I'm gonna go this route because it's harder. I'm gonna let you have the other route. Alright. Oh, oh, fuck you! <laughs> Not much of a double jump. Just kind of a little extra, a little extra air time. A little extra hang time. Is this a fucking theme park? Like, what's the purpose of this tunnel? Sewage? The water's too clear to be sewage. Yeah. That's video games, though. Yeah. Well, no, we'll get to the sewers later in Ratchet and Clank. Ding. God damn it. 
every time there's a sewer level in video games, uh, in, in video games that Civi plays, he always adds a, a number to his counter. Yeah. He's very diligent about it. So would this count? Uh, because uh, unless Civi plays it, it, it doesn't. Like, if he played this, would it count? I don't think so. It's not sewery enough. He had to ask his, uh, his, uh, his wardens if a certain sewer level, level counted, and, uh, and they both said yes. His wardens? Yeah, yeah, he's he's in prison. Oh. Yeah, he uh, he's in like some kind of secret like uh, like government prison, and he has two robot wardens. Uh, oh, okay. That. Uh... <laughs> yeah, and they and, and he plays video games because uh, for for their amusement, good ones and bad ones. Also, they once asked him, like, where the hydrogen bomb was. He's like, I, I had never stolen a hydrogen bomb. Where's the... Yeah, that's why, that's why he's called CV-11. It's CV-11. That's his prisoner number. Oh. <laughs> you, you surprised at the amount of lore? Not, no, not really. It's not really overbearing here or anything. He looks down upon, uh... Double jump is Channel nominal. Awesome doing that. What? Double jump is nominal. Nominal to build up the clank upgrades. I mean, if you mean it's shitty to make the clank upgrades better, then yes. Yeah, you're correct. It, that the clank is, that upgrades are pretty important. Oh, man. This game just feels smooth to play. Yeah. Like, like it feels the, that the that you're just kind of gliding over geometry rather than it just capturing you and just locking you into place. Oh, you're up. Hydraulics. Hydro machine, son! <laughs> Armstrong just looks like a giant, like, fire hydrant. <laughs> Hydro machine. No, he's on a jet ski! Hydro machine, son! Plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, yeah. wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks <laughs> off this goddamn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough votes. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Oh. For 500. That's all you need. They're on the ground. <laughs> Video games that have collectibles all over the ground, but try to make commentary on, like, uh, poor people. Yeah. No, it's not green enough. <laughs> That's a sewer. You guys don't ever shit. This is the solar ship radical. Whoa! It'll be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Back down. I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit. Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's am scream. Be jacked. Be jacked. So, <laughs> I'm glad we switched it back to English. Did you see that guy on the left? That was do they have mark. Japanese? I don't think they did. I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder. Always going off about how cool So we're basically just searching for a dude to tell him to fix a problem. I've never seen him. What's funny is that, like, none of the pro skateboarder really did go off about how cool they are. There weren't anyone like that. No, there's just people just like, yeah, man, I see this gap. And I, and I look at it, I'm like, I want to hit it. Just a bunch of the chillest dudes. Yeah, they're... Like, anybody who acts like Skid McMarks does, and this is gonna sound really, some really weird gatekeeping for something I don't ever play, or do, but they all think they're real skateboarders, cause... Yeah. Or maybe they, they wouldn't get very far, they wouldn't get a fan base. Yeah. yeah this guy's kind of an asshole. Yeah, it's just it's the kind of thing that's just like, oh, really? Hey, face first! Are we gonna slide down a sewer pipe? That sounds fun, does it? Yep, it's sewer caves. Okay. Ding! Oh, right, it's where's a sewer. Thing at? Should we buy the pie roster or wait I for the next one? Great bargains for you today. We have enough. We should just buy it. We're gonna buy everything anyway, so. 
Oh. All right, over to Jack. Or the next section of the level. The levels are usually in sections by uh, by gold. Oh yeah, I forgot. This thing this thing eats up ammo like crazy. Oh, it goes through uh, goes through in increments. All right, where am I going? I think it was all European languages. Yeah. Can you imagine a Japanese dub with this game? I'm sure it exists. I wonder how. I wonder how well this did in Japan. Because I know we we've talked about the history of Crash and Spyro in Japan. Didn't do very well. Sp well, Crash did. Crash did great in Japan. Spyro did not. Crash was kind of the exception as one of the very rare Western characters to take off in Japan. Because the game was hard. Why are robots just... Why are you guys attacking? Why are you... I mean, I know why, but... Ratchet and Clank, cutting room floor. Oh man, these guys. These are everywhere. In the Japanese version of the game, Gadgetron is called Galactron. Black Galactitron. That's the only difference listed. The only one! It's the only one here. So it was a straight up just uh, conversion. Then. I guess they learned after Spyro and just changed nothing. Yeah. How'd it do? Uh, it doesn't say anything. It just says that was different. All right, then I'm looking at the, the cutting room floor. All right, then. Then at that case, at that, I'd say look up the Mitsu scores at the very least to see what it, how it did critically. Ratchet and Clank Famitsu. 34 out of 40. 34 oh, out of... Oh no, that's PS4, sorry. Oh, okay. Wait, they gave the PS4 version. Okay. <laughs> that, that is good. Uh, it says 34 out of 40 for the 2002 one as well. Okay. So, so... Uh, good. Three-fourths... Three okay. You know what? That's fine. I can... Right, you're down. This thing's really good at taking out, like, small mobs. Yeah. So... Hordes of things. How's that uh, mid 2000s uh, video game aesthetic to it with its uh, soundtrack? Yeah. All right. Is that area cleared? You didn't. You wanted me to do this because it had more combat, didn't it? Wow, well, did it? Uh, well, I wasn't. I wasn't thinking of that. And I'm curious who the composer is. Oh. Are right, you over there that way? Then I'm gonna grab some bolts. Where'd the oh, where'd the guy go? David Bergoud. David Bergoud. Literally who? Oh, he's Parisian. I guess producer, composer, instrumentalist. So he's just a composer. He's not. Uh, they didn't get like a, a Grant Kirkhope or anything. Uh, Is that the I guy's hurt name? Me. Don't hurt me. That, who, what are you? That's the missionaries, torturers. This Italian voice was so different. I'll tell you anything. Here, take my info bot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not as fast. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Great gray morality ratchet. Yeah. It's like okay, 
Cork's character is like if uh Does this ever happened to you. Yes. Hi, I'm Captain Cork, and believe me, there's nothing worse than stories. It's like if uh from the if like Tom Cruise in addition to being an actor was also like a That's hero. Yeah. Like, like, Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Yeah. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's porktastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah. Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this. I mean, maybe. Tell him the ship. commercial <laughs> at a uh, uh, ship. What? You're not going to torture me? Well, let's Imagine if every, like, YouTube video, every piece of media needed to be on its own standalone oh, robot that you had to physically carry around and pull out. <laughs> that, yeah, the future! Now that you have coordinates to two new planets, you can use your ship. That's yeah, okay. The the robot would for, would uh, you watch whatever was on it for like uh, a few uh, times, and then uh, afterwards uh, it would just fly away because you used it for a lot of time. Yeah. You know that they were trying to do uh, they were trying to do like uh, disposable discs. Were they? Yeah. There was a uh, the group that were trying to create like DVDs. That would only last for like two to three days. Of course. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds like it would not even be close to be worth the effort to put media on and print on. Yeah, and, and you know what? It, the, the company, the venture failed. Because people realized that was a dumb fucking idea. You hear about, uh, you hear about the Elon Musk project going on? Oh, what's he doing kind now? Of, uh, a, a super speed tunnel uh, between like uh, it's like Manhattan and Jersey or something. Wait, he wants to create a super speed or across. It was like it was supposed to be a proof of concept of like a, a, a hyper speed train or something that would be frictionless. Is there anything I'm missing here? Uh, I think there's something at the but like behind that building down the river, but I don't remember if we can get to it or if we need the power the, up. The fat underwater jet yet. Oh. I remember which way the river goes. I guess I'll take a look at it. The only collectible in this game is uh, gold bolts. The, and uh, I think there's like gad there's uh, health upgrades about. Yeah, the river's going that way, so we probably need the speed up to get it, I'm gonna guess. I'll double check. Yeah, I'm missing a whole lot of uh, the abilities I can get later on in the game. I... Whoa. Right, can we go in there? We can. Uh... No. Go in the cave. Which cave? Yeah, I'm going in the cave. This cave? Because he can't. He can't seem to. He's too. We need the upgrade. Yep. Behind the ship, near the sewer. Oh, okay. Oh, over there. Uh, but no, the frictionless tunnel thing failed. Yeah. And uh, he, he's, they're kind of trying to, to cover their asses, the Tesla company. Oh. <laughs> and so they basically turned it into just they paved it and they put a car through it and they said, "Look how fast it went." So it was like several billion dollars <laughs> spent on a paved tunnel for <laughs> one car at a time. Oh my god! To go through in one direction. The Elon Musk had, has his first, like, major failure is just him just try <laughs> Frictionless tunnel! Here. Sorry, I was- I was just, uh, what? Well, you also just did a, a thing. Oh, sorry. What, me rubbing my eyes? No, you just- you did the- the goal. You got the oh. buy. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's just that. Yeah, we did it. See how fast my car went. I don't know what cave you're talking about, Charles. The, uh, it's is this locked. a cave? This it's, locked thing? It's locked. 
40 grenades, by the way. There's a map. Where's the map at? There, you there go. it is. Oh, there's uh, a whole There's mother. a, yeah, a thing we didn't do. Is this, was this supposed to open? This looks like the way to Yeah, this looks like the way, way to, to come go. out, so you need, so the other way's the way to go in. Uh, I, for, I forgot um, about the map. I'm glad there's a map in this game, by the way. This is why this game is, uh... Well, back that way. Oh, we didn't go this way. So there are three things to do on this planet. Oh, uh, that's right. We opened this and didn't go through. Yeah, we just kind of turned back. Was that the way you were expecting me to go? Uh, no. I forgot. I just I forgot about it because I went back to get the the weapon from the shop. Ah. I don't do that as much as I'd like. Yeah. Just just doesn't cross my mind. Ratchet versus Link. Uh I don't know. Ratchet's Ratchet has got a bigger arsenal. He's got future tech. They yeah. both they're both known for pretty big arsenals. But uh yeah, I think Link would need to get very creative and his shield would have to like withstand a whole lot of damage. You need a high tech shield. Well, he's got- he does have magic. Ratchet- Ratchet doesn't have that. Did you ever see that, uh, piece of fan art I- I posted on Discord? The one where it's Link and, like, a cyberpunk aesthetic? It's Le Legend of Zelda hyperlink to Ganon City. I don't think so. It- it- it was a pretty good, uh, proof of concept. The, like, he had a sword, which was, like, a lightsaber, and, like, a shield, which was, like, a holographic, uh, image that would just appear in, like, a glove. He had like a like a green coat. It was pretty. It was pretty neat looking. Also, he had he had Navi, right? But the yeah. Navi was like a little robot that like fought, that like flew around him. Yeah. You got uh, you got an, uh, a new uh, debit card today. Yeah, the old one's chip was going, and I was planning on replacing it, and then it got lost. So I definitely had to replace it. But uh, the, the the bank we go to. As, as, as a design. Yeah, the, the... It's a Sasquatch on a unicorn with a lightsaber. Oh, man. I, if I... I should, uh, edit out my details. And, or I should just find the picture online and post it. Because that... That image is... I... I can never go to another image after that. Yeah? That's a great image. Wait, was that it? What was in there? Uh... A shortcut. Oh. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> it... It was- It was just a big circle with fuck all. You must have missed something. A gold bolt or something. Well, I- I had thought that, uh, there was like a wall I could jump up. Is what was in here, but, uh, apparently not. Down there? One of these pools? I think it's in one of these. Like, this is a very unusual amount of level just to hide a gold bolt. Unusual. Blow up a wall. Okay. Are okay. secret areas marked on the map, or...? Oh, is There's an that... upgrade we get later that shows them. Ah. I don't know that I remember where the wall is without that, though. Also, I don't know that we're, we're probably not going to be doing 100% gold bolts, uh, necessarily. This, this game wasn't too hard to 100%, I don't think, when we did it. It's just, I don't think, I don't think we did do it together. Oh. Oh, well, in that case. It's just getting all the gold bolts, and honestly, it's it's not worth it for the first one. You get access, you can buy gold weapons with them, but, but that, uh, that's yeah. the extent of upgrading. You just spend a ludicrous amount of money for a better version of weapon that, and, again, I don't even really use. Gold wrench? Is there a gold wrench? No. No. He said the room with the... Uh, well, that was the previous room, the room with the turn crank. Oh. That's with the bottom of the wall. Maybe the other turn crank? Or... Oh, there we go! Just hang.
hanging out. Yeah, that would have, uh... Well, there's a lot of grinding for money in this. I, like, I have to leave my PS2 on just grinding bolts overnight to afford the, the, the extent of the stuff in this game. Yeah, this... I don't know if the other games get better at about it, but... Yeah, this game... I, I, I would care more about 100%ing, uh, like, 2 and 3. Okay. Well, let's give it we'll, we'll see. We'll see how things go. I, again, I'm not worried too much about it because we're gonna get the upgrade later that will show us the secret areas on maps. Cool. Alright, that's that's gold done. I guess that counts. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? Wait, we're going... Did we go to Metropolis, or did we go to Outpost X11 Iridia? Uh, I think we should go to Metropolis first, because there's, like, uh, we get the swing shot there. Okay. And there's an Iridia goal that has a swing shot. Alright. So we gotta get on this robo shack. Another one in the sewer, do some wall jumps. I'll worry about looking for those, uh, later. By the way, this is the loading screen. It's just a ship flying through space. Didn't we, uh... Didn't we run into bugs where it would just get stuck on the loading yes, screen? Yes, just, just going fly, over and over and over again. Fly forever. Fly forever. Alright. Where are you out? Going to Al's Robo Shack. <laughs> Let's get, this uh, level's pretty good. Uh, th nothing bad's happening here right now. What was the name of the bad guy in Toy Story 2? Was Al. It was a very similar character design. Oh yeah, design. that's right. Uh, I wonder if in Toy Story 3 he like grew up to like mellow out. I don't think he appeared in Toy Story 3 at all. He moved away. No, his name was Sid. No, that was Toy Story 1. Oh. Toy oh, Story Al 2. Was the... It was a big fat guy who like uh, was like oh, he a stole... collector. I got Blaster. Some bargains for you today. Sure. That's that's a good one. Just the the gun. All right, Here, have gun. Welcome to Machine Gun. No, he's just a, a collector who hoarded toys. Yeah. He's like, hey, how much for this? He's like, and then she's like, not for sale. And and he stole it. Bad guy was Stinky Pete. Oh, it's also he had two like antagonists. Yeah, it was. The... Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, Ooh. fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a shot one, right? from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third no. island to complete the Oh, I can't course. do it yet because I don't have it. I guess not. Market enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Can you bomb him? Can you can you Excuse blow that? Me, Captain. Oh. But we have more <laughs> We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? <laughs> like a fucking kindergartner trying to ease him into figuring it out himself. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Robots uh, aren't real. Ends, just make it to the third island to claim your reward. And don't forget to tune in this week as I, Captain Quark, appear in person to present the grand prize for the Hoverboard Championship held in Blackwater City. Oh, useful information. Let's see. I don't know where to, where to get to... Uh... Hold on. There's a, there's a skill point for blowing it up. I just don't remember if you can do it with bombs or if you need uh, to throw a few. Or if you need the, like, missiles. You probably need missiles. He's, he's resistant to frag fragmentation grenades. He needs something stronger. Yeah, I can't complete this course right now. Not without the grapple shot, so I need to go to, to visit the robot. Are we sure, though? I don't, I don't have the grapple shot. I think you get... I Go on. I think you get the grapple shot at the end of this course. I think those things we saw were the way to get back after we finish it and get it. Okay. But if I hit a dead end, oh, that's right, I can wall jump. With a sound. Yeah. So. Those are those are crash TNTs. Basically crash TNT. I like the sound effect in this one better though. 
Yeah. Feels more future esque. They're pretty similar sound effects. All right. Okay. Piece of cake. Yeah, I love I love the control that you have in the air in this game. It's it, it Yeah, I wouldn't call it easy, I'd call it fluid. Okay. It's Talk about eventually doing jack. I don't know when that'll happen. Jump and jump again to kick off the walls in midair until oh, you reach damn. the top. I should try that again, shouldn't I? That Saved it. How much of the city's power is going to these, uh. This uh, work obstacle course? Probably not a lot. Probably has a fusion core just, uh. Just, uh, there. Just all to itself. Yeah. Work tech fusion force. Yeah. Or I don't know, what, what power source they have. Energy cells? Maybe they have infinite energy supply. Maybe it's just not an issue anymore. Or like... Maybe they just have giant satellites just creating them, just hovering around the sun, just collecting solar energy. All the solar energy they could possibly want. Is that the mirror dome? Yeah, that's how we get all the galaxy's energy. We just put a bunch of so German. Listen up, you long balls! That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course. What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh yeah, but it was weak, weak, weak. But <laughs> how does she sound like a German? I would devour courses like that's that. That's a good question. <laughs> She's, she she speaks German in an American <laughs> accent. <laughs> Somehow you managed to impress that fool, Captain Quark. Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for the performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can stay to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see. Not so fast. How does a robot even get fat? Uh... So it's actually just a bunch of weapons, like, stored in. She's not it's fat. Not She's built! Life's not fair. <laughs> oh, damn it. Are, I... are we going to have to come back? Oh, no. I thought... Ugh. Shouldn't have bought the blaster! Maybe, uh, well, keep looking on, like, the ground for any bolts. On the ground. Yeah, I'm... There are some are all around there. Okay, not not enough though. Maybe maybe there that is. boat will still be there. To uh Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. Ho hopefully we can take it back and not have to do the whole course again. I mean, it's it's very simple to do. Yeah. Real life cities spend billions on stadium events. Well, it, if you would think if it were that popular and that invested, there would be more people doing it than just Ratchet. All right, you want to you want to do the next one? I'll count that as a as a task done. Uh, are you? Oh, uh, is there a secret? Aha! Fine. Oh, can you shoot uh, those ships? Honk, honk. Probably not. Fully collecting the gold boat bolt gave you uh, some cash. Yeah. Oh, hey. Your timing is off. Gonna be a uh, gonna be a public liability. This is fine, right? There goes all our ammo! Ten round! Dude! Why are you wasting all our ammo? I think it's a skill point. Probably. 
Uh, we're getting bolts. I think you destroyed them all, sir. This Jack's so mad. I, I'm just like, oh, you're just... You're destroying it! Ah, uh, they probably deserved it. <laughs> well, so, maybe not. Maybe it's a certain weapon you need to use to get a skill point. As if ammo is rare in this game. Yeah. Especially because I'm not even going to be using it. Uh, hey, we got enough for the for the turbo grapple now. Let's go back and get it. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Cork. Some vandal is on our highway. Murdering people. <laughs> A vandal! You, 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 like, a bunch of people get killed, you call them a vandal? Well, that yeah. ruffian killed 13 children! What a- that's- Bowser, you bully! <laughs> he eats a kid. He'll, like, hold. <laughs> that was possibly- that was probably the strangest part of that fanfiction. Uh, it was- I stopped reading after that because Ness is, uh, is one of my favorite, like, video game heroes. I'm sorry, Charles. I didn't read in time. He wanted me to throw my wrench at the cars. Oh, that probably would've worked. Alright. The thing does not appear to still be there. Well, you get to go through the obstacle course now. I guess so. Lucky you! Let's see if you can do better than I can. That's for Zvik! A thousand- Bro. Oh, there it is! A thousand dollar down payment on a fucking prize! Or, wait, no. Uh, what's the- What do you think the exchange rate is with, uh, bolts to, uh, USD? I don't know, it seems like, uh... How much do you think- How does- How much does a flamethrower cost? Because this one costs 1,500 bolts. Okay, keep in mind that the, the, the tech here is very advanced. Yeah. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this. Doesn't all mean it's the cheaper. Time. Yeah. Ha! Real men can spin without silly toys like that. The two of you make me sick. Oh, that's why that boat was there. Congratulations on your new Gadgetron slingshot. Uh it's fine. No, it's not. Fuck you, Jack. We're in this together. Well, better get the bombs back. Oh, well. <laughs> what are you doing? I put the, I put the weapons on the four compass directions and then the gadgets on the corners. Okay. Is what I like to do. Alright, then. So, pretty handy uh, power up. Spider Man. Da 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 Is that his new uh theme? I feel like I Man, his his fucking Yeah? <laughs> yeah, hold on. Just the L1 button. Pizza time. Wait, Spider-Man pizza delivery theme meets metal? Yeah. Spider-Man 2 pizza theme orchestral cover? It's memeing, of course these exist. <laughs> That's just the th song. Yeah. Unless it gets faster. <laughs> Is that the orchestral? Yeah. Wasn't there a lock on? Uh, I thought there I was. I thought there was too. You have to purchase that. That that's really that's not to later games, right? Uh, you I could look it up. Uh, hold on. What's the metal one? Like always, 
You're the only delivery boy here right now, too. So you must deliver everything. Uh, Don't be late. Help. You got it, Mr. Aziz. I'll deliver those pizzas before you know it. That's actually not bad. Yeah. It sounds like... It sounds like power metal almost. Eh. No. Oh, I died. Oh, you did? Okay. <laughs> I probably distracted you. I ran out of uh, blaster ammo. Couldn't take the helicopter easily. Okay, I guess I'll have to buy some more. I don't think this game has lock-on. Okay, there, there's a quality of life issue. Yeah. Oh, that's a good thing. I got some great bargains for you today. You could just, like, go without it. Uh. I, I could. I'm not going to, though. Because. What are you going to use that for? Uh, mobs. There's just, like, a couple dogs. Whack them. <laughs> but, but, but why whack them when you can set them on fire? Because we need our bolts. Much, it's expensive. We've already run into a bolt shortage. Those guys are worth shooting because the missiles. Fine, I can dodge them. My Kingdom Hearts playthrough has trained me for this. I guess there was kind of a chain of uh, okay. slower, more methodical platformers around the PS2 era. As opposed to, you know, Crash was more Mario-esque. It was designed so that you would always be moving, more or less. Sliding and jumping all over the place. Yeah. Now the helicopter is what you really need the ammo for. Yeah, I see it. I don't. I think the jump attack does like 1.5 times damage, but I'm not. I don't remember for sure. Too far? You're too far. So short range. All these weapons are short range. Uh oh. Okay. Got knocked away. Boom. I like how these, like, small small arms fire can take down a helicopter in this universe. A lot of destructibles in this game, too. I think the street lamps, yeah. All of which is worth bolts. The difference is between you and me. I make this look good. Oh, this is the C4 guy. Yeah. Run and drop bombs. Oh, well, he's dead now. All right. Is this the? That's the statue of um. The the, rocket. The hawk. What do the you fuck? You should go back up the stairs. You, we need to explore more. We're not looking at any. You're not looking everywhere. Okay. We're missing a lot of boxes and things, at the very least. I don't know if they're gold bolts or not. I mean, we need, we need cash. We so. do. These trees... No, these trees... Trees. I wonder. No. You expect Damn. too much from the PS2. <laughs> this was a PS4 game. That would work. Oh, uh, go across the bridge again. What's back there in that building? That I, building? I feel like that leads to a gold bowl. Oh, great. Assuming we can get up here without, uh, we might need a helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. Better clank. Unless... I climb that tree. Can I no. climb these trees? No. We need to bomb jump! Theoretically, I could do that if I was... Link. Uh, let's 
see. So I'd have. To, I don't think bomb jumping is I in this game. By the way, I don't think there's splash damage uh, for bombs. Uh, no. When you, when you, so yeah. That would that would mean that speedrunners would be able to break this game. Yeah. Which I'm sure they have plenty of ways to do that already. Have yet to see a, a speedrun of, of this game. So, possibly. Just because you can. Fuck you, I do what I want. Whatever I do what I want. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, that, that worked out pretty well. Dog's getting stuck on things. Now, is that the same dog or is that a different? Okay. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, let him live. He's not hurting anyone. Oh, no, Quark. He's my dog. I'll do it. All right, buddy, go, go on, be free. Quark, that's the man we saw in the info bot. Remember, he knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually, I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy per se. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. I like him. Shut so up. So now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? I can improve <laughs> you. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade... You run on sister boards? Match. Since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, okay. I'll just need my feet. 1,500? How far 4, are we in the future, and uh, would you use a helicopter hey, technology? Hey, yeah, not hey, jetpack, where? fuck it. This is the cheap version. Am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. So, R1, and then jump for the extra height. And then you can hold it in the air to glide. Should we go back to look for that gold bolt? Sure. Ah! Also, we have Mario long jump. Also, you can hover. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do it from the ground. Yeah, you can. If well, you I mean, no, you can do that from the ground. You just can't, like, do the... You can if you go off a ledge, yeah. yeah. You just need more space under you. Oh, good thing they have the up there. Come on. Here, may I? You wanna... I, I want to get that gold bolt. Okay, fine. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I was gonna go up there, wasn't I? He's still there! So we got the grappling hook and we got the... the helicopter upgrade, that means... We're trying to find Captain Quark. Where is he? So it's like I I don't like it when you're the hero and you're trying to find the hero rather than just just go. Can we just stop him ourselves? Well, that's Ratchet's idea. We can just do it ourselves. No, we need to find Captain Quark. Well, I thought there was more stuff here. Is it just a couple crates? Is that it? There must be something else. Think you can blow up the statue of the ship? Not sure. Probably. I don't know if we can do it with just bombs, but I'm sure it can be done. Maybe I'm thinking of a different level has a path to a gold bolt. Can Darn. I... Wait, is that a drop? It's a drop to death. Oh, is that... Weird how it's so... Oh, no, you can't even go in there. Invisible wall. Hey, Charles, is there anything here? Doesn't look like it. Darn. 
Can I get it back now? Yeah, I was I was gonna get you back to where you were. Do you just want to take it back? Yeah, get it back uh, to where it was then. Let me glide from here. Eh, not really. No, that's a that's a very risky jump. I'm sure speedrunners can do it. Get one bolt from the scrap. Whoops. Ratchet is in the uh, the scrap metal business. I wonder if there's a, such a thing as scrap punk. You know, just like an aesthetic made it up entirely of scrap from... Uh... It's uh, scrap metal. You just take a metal song, you chop it up, and you just put the pieces back together. <laughs> you know what? That We got glitch hop, and then now we got scrap metal. I think there's a building you can get to from a taxi? Okay. Taxi, take me to this building. Back to Jack. You have to glide down. Oh, shit. You know what? Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, we'll worry more about that stuff when we have, like, the secret area map. Alright. Oh, there's a pyro ammo over there. I guess we're full on it. Yeah. Things uh, tend to stick around when you uh, before you collect them. That's good. I like that. But it needs to disappear so that people feel pressured and hurried to get it. That makes for a fun and exciting game. It's over here. Or something. Just, just, I think that's just a safety net. And then there's some uh, boxes to the left. This is just a landing for a way. We go further up and then glide across this. This is where we land if we fuck up. Oh, uh, okay. Try using the glide feature of your new telephone. Jump, and then press and hold the X button. Say, Missy Eye. God, why is, uh, is Glide from Battle Network, is he, is he the, the Project 64 plugin? Is that the dude? <laughs> He's the... Like, it's spelled the, the same actually, way. The guy's actually a, seri a serial video game pirate. Yeah. A serial video game pirate. I, if I was rich, I would still play ROMs. Why would I spend all this money to buy the real thing when I could get the, get it for free? Hang on, let me get my guidebook. Oh, you show off. <laughs> you know what? If I was rich, I would just pirate games. I'd support game piracy. Yeah. Like, I'd, I'd influence legislators, I'd... Find ways to, uh, better preserve old video games. I'd hire... yeah. Hire people to, uh... I don't remember if I told you about this. I mentioned it on the last, uh, crash stream. I'll let you finish this first. There we go. Uh, Derek Yu, the Spelunky dev, yeah. made a post about, uh... About, uh, like, like Japanese... Difference between Western and, uh, Japanese philosophy when it comes to game piracy and preservation. Yeah. And there was, uh... Because he was commenting on a guy who bought, he spent like four, the equivalent of fourteen thousand American dollars on a uh, prototype Famicom game. Yeah. Oh, I died. Shit. Go on. From uh, development that was never published in any way. Yeah. He bought it and then uh, tweeted, "Don't worry, like uh, true, like ga game respecting people, true true enthusiasts." I, I will protect this from those filthy Westerners who would sell this for profit. Oh. In other words, it's going to sit in his collection and bit rot and die and never be preserved in any way. That's dumb. That is so fucking dumb. It is, yes. And it's like, there are certain people who are so hardcore into it, you just can't convince them otherwise that, 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 that it would be a good idea to preserve it and just copy it. No, people who rip ROMs are all pirates and are devious and out for profit and scout selfish scum. A lot of, you know a lot of pirates, they don't even get profit from it anymore, right? They just do it and then everybody has it and then they're just like... Piracy's really kind of a misnomer because that implies that they're getting rich off of it when... Yeah. 
Really, it's just crackers. They just crack it. Hey, okay, we can say that one. Yeah, we're, okay. we're, we're, <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it varies on... I can, I can understand it d depending on the situation and how recent the game is, but something like that especially. You're, it's a game that's not being sold anywhere! What the fuck are you doing?! Like... It'd be one thing if there was like a game that just came out, right? For like $60 and people want to have money so that they can continue funding that game, but... Who's gonna... Who's gonna make a profit off of that? It's a prototype that was never released and will now never see the light of day. It's gonna stop. It'll become a lost game. It will. That's exactly what happens. You misguided sons of fucks. It, it reminds you how much of... There's still, like, just a lot of, like, native xenophobia in just kind of the way Japanese culture is structured, unfortunately. Well, all, also, like... Yeah. Also, the uh, the difference between uh, like uh, it, Japan's uh, like uh, self sacrifice and just uh, giving taking one for the team is bigger in Japan than it is in America. In America, people are more just like, well, oh, I shouldn't have done that. People are just oh no, you can wall jump, right? Not on these, I don't think. Oh, you can only wall jump on specific. That's dumb. not on bars. No, not on those. I was talking about. As you see on the other side, there's also. Oh. Yeah, I can probably use this. There we go. It's it it's in on the same kind of degree as like uh, you talked about back when uh, movie studios would just throw out old old film reels. Yeah, they would do that. They would. There were. There was BBC who were big offenders. They would basically, after they were done showing like a series, they would just wipe the footage because they needed room to store it. Nobody ever thought, hey, maybe we should keep fucking backups of this shit. And everybody's like, nah, it'll be fine. Who's ever gonna want to watch this in the future? Yeah. There was never ever uh, like no nobody's ever found complete footage of the Doctor's first regeneration because of this stupid fucking policy. Yeah. It, it, they're not pirates. They're 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 preservationists. This is another thing that uh, that Ross uh, talked about on the game on the game dungeon. He later went into into detail about is that uh, games that are uh, nowadays games that are connected that, that are required to be connected to a uh, like a central server. Those are games with a limited shelf life. Yeah. Because of their very nature. And he later went on to make like a an hour long video. Like an over hour long video uh, titled "Games as Service is Fraud." Yeah. Of course, a bunch of lawyers uh, then uh, then like Got went up and they're like, "Oh, well, technically, if you look at the law, it, it says that games as, as it, it, it's, this is technically not fraud." Which means that not to say that, it, that they don't find it reprehensible, just that technic like by the letter um, of the law, it's not technically. But, uh, Just because it's allowed doesn't mean it's right. Yeah, that's... that's it's I not mean. only encouraged, it's allowed! It's just like, you're gonna... Why bother spending $60 on a game that eventually is just not gonna run anymore because the servers are dead? I mean, that could be argued about any game with online functionality, though. I mean... Well... Mod Nation Racer is a big chunk of the game is lost once online goes down. It still has the single player, obviously, but... Yeah, but the... That's not really the point of the game. There was also, uh... An another ma Well... I mean... Theoretically, you could get around it by just hosting different servers. And just be just making the server source code open. If there was a fan demand, yeah. Yeah, but... That's, happened that, some that's not gonna happen... Because companies like like that like to be in control of everything about the product. Yeah. To its detriment, honestly. Like, a successful business has to run, like, it has to go... You have to have some kind of, like, uh, like understanding with, with a customer. You can't just be all like, no, we're the company, fuck you, you're gonna buy it anyway. You have to be like, okay, what, what do you want from us? 
I mean, you say that, but then people still buy that company's games. It's... At, on some level, it does always come down to the consumer, and those are the kind of buyers that frustrate me. Yeah. The ones that never leave a company. They never punish the company, because they just keep buying it's what a, they put it's out. It's a weird attitude that I, see, that I see. Just, like, people... That they defend a company's decisions no matter how bad like, they fuck up. It's like it's brand loyalty. It's like it's, an extension of the console wars that continues today. The nineties, the nineties were. Uh, I blame the nineties for for the twenty tens uh, corporate warship that they that worked developed. out in the in the company's favor. The the console wars of the nineties. Yeah. They created a culture. It's a, it's. Would you call it toxic? I'd call it toxic. I wouldn't use the word toxic. I would definitely harmful. Yeah, that that's good. That's good phrase for it. It's, it's just... harmful and it's, it does not benefit the consumers. Digital piracy is okay. That's 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 my philosophy. When I when I'm eventually done with the pre-planning phase of my uh, hold on. Greetings, Executive Chairman Greg. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You Trigon. must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along. Using a much uh, higher voice than he usually uses. Yeah. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointments well. Yes, sir. I it won't fail. Oh, I remember this plot now. I, I remember Rick how this is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting... I don't think we have anything to worry about. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Gorg. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out Let's ourselves. just fight him. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek oh, is. Oh, Clank's willing to cooperate. <laughs> now you're talking. Like, they have different uh, they have different ideas of what to do, but they're still willing to work with each other's yeah. ideas. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's a, it's a, it's a buddy cop. Uh... It is, yeah. <laughs> They're, they're not they're, just gonna bicker and bitch at each other at the first sign of any disagreement. They they work it out like like adults. They play off each other very well. Uh, so what was I saying? Uh, the like shitty culture '90s. Oh, uh, I was talking. Preservation. I I'm start. I'm still on like world building for my uh, for my story. Uh, and when I when I release it, I. I'm not, I'm not trying to release it to, like, make a bunch of money and get rich. I just I just want to create stuff just for the sake of creating stuff. And, I mean, I know people need to, need to eat and, and stuff. But It'd be nice to be able to, uh, to just make enough to live and make more stuff Yeah, is the main thing. At but... the same time, I'm saying that, that if people are fans of it and... I tried to I tried to move the stick up and down and it didn't work. Is it only arrows work? Probably. The menu? Seems like it. That'd be weird. I'm, I'm gonna give the next minor to you. It's also, also, if my stuff is digital only and people want to, like, print it out, yeah. then I, I'm not gonna fucking... I'm not gonna say you can't do that. We want to go to Iridia. We didn't go to yet. Or, oh, yeah, that's right. What we need was, to find his agent. What was the game that, uh... Was it Battlefront 2? You said they the the publishers were saying, "Oh, we don't have like a switch that we can just turn the DRM off." Oh no, uh, that was Sim City. The uh, the the Sim EA. City the Sim City uh, parentheses year yeah uh, stuff and uh, and EA did that. They're like, "We can't just turn the switch off, flip the switch, and uh, and turn the always online off." And they did. And guess well, what? A hacker found out. Yeah. They found he went out. into the game files and found exactly that, the switch that turned it off, and he turned it off. Oh, well, speaking of darkness. Anything new in Gadgetron? Hold on. Let me see if I can turn the brightness up. And then EA was just like... <sighs> yeah, that's pretty much the... Uh, I can't. Shit. I can, uh, I can tweak the settings. Like we did for the Kingdom Hearts. That's probably what you're, you're going to have to do. I mean, it's not. I don't have the night bad, vision necessary for a night raid. No, Sorry. I, I need to. I need to change the. I need to change the channel to do oh, it because it pops up on the on the TV screen. Okay. Well, I'll wait. Just I just need to drag it over. HDMI, go away. So what did so Derek? You what did he think about about that? I'm sure he wasn't. He like, just described it as tragic. Wait, 
what what did I use? For? Don't worry. I'm sure. You know what? I'm sure there are other people uh, like of that culture that agree with us. I'm sure it's not just us. Oh, I'm sure there are. There are people who are like part. It's not obviously. It's not 100 percent universal, but there is like an east west difference there as well. Like most of the people who would agree with the guy are probably in Japan and have that kind of mindset. Yeah. And it's like at that point, it's like so you, you'd rather it be lost than it's him. than Steve just McLaughs. give any potential for someone to potentially you abuse it for profit. Dude. You guys get a load of that epic space battle I was in. That's probably screaming for help. Uh, that was like a war cry. <laughs> My agent and I got ambushed on the way to hoverboard practice. But he's about to cry. That's a sir. terrible yeah, he's stoner okay, voice. But. I've had a little trouble getting back to my ship due to my sprained ankle. Oh, come on. If you can take out all the sand sharks, I just might have a spare hoverboard for you. We'd love to help you, Mr. McMobs, but Ratchet and I need to find Captain... One of your boards? Hmm. I've always wanted a decent hoverboard. Well, all right. You just keep that... You think having two toes is detrimental to hoverboarding? Uh... It's not not as much dexterity, but more power. When Skid McMarks flips, he flips. Well, you can only manage a triple. Shh. I'd do an octa flip. Oh, you know what'd oh, be cool on. is a pro skater with like a prosthetic leg. Oh, that'd be inspiring. That would that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. Hold on. So there was no new weapon in the shop. Oh. Yeah, I should check that out, shouldn't I? Where's the weapon shop? To the right. I'm glad that it speeds. There's more speed now. Nope, no weapon. No, 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 no weapon. I'm good at this game and only this game. So not two or three. Cool, we can, we can inspire you to do better at the other games. I'm guessing that just kills you instantly, that, uh... The muck. Yeah. I, I think it just damages you and then you can go on a different route. Oh, is that the shit? Yeah, the sand sharks were the other way. The yuck. I mean, they're all over the level, but the is ones the, that count. Is this the planet that uh, Magical Gift of the Slow Snowman took place on? The, it it's like got the, the yuck. yuck. The it's yuck. generating yuck. Nasty yuck. What do you do with yuck, sir? Do you sell it? Oh, for fuck's sake, use the wrench on the sand sharks, they take one hit. Uh, I mean, but if you're getting... Like, no. what, there's no better place in the game to use the pyrocitor. I've got a flamethrower. You don't understand. I've got a flamethrower. I've got a brand new pyro flamethrower. <laughs> oh, man. I still want somebody to uh, to lord that song. You can jump out of the quicks. Yeah. Like I got thought the 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 muck just you you can jump out but you lose a hit point. So there's a spawner up there. Uh oh. Dead. Is that quicksand? No. No, it's just sand. It does look very conspicuous as, you know, just a pit in the middle. Don't jump in! Oh, jeez. I have to cover all this. I have to comb all this desert. It's not that big an area. Oh, you want a desert to comb? Wait till we get to the game three. Is that the one? I think that's the one. Comb that desert! You hear me? Guys drag a giant combs to the desert. You find anything? No, sir. Ratchet. How about, how about you? We have found shit. Ratchet 2 has the sewer, I believe. That had all the, the expansive, the maze of the sewer. That you can get sewer crystals in. Then, ra then uh, 3 had two expansive... Wasteland planets to collect crystals in. It had the desert and then it had an ice one. And the ice one would fuck you up. Holy <laughs> crap, the things on that thing were, on that place were dangerous. <laughs> I can't wait to get to that part. That that's gonna be that's gonna be rough. Like this stream. is the easy this is the easy game of them. Yeah, this game's the easiest one. 
games get harder. Is the second game with the deserts? Does this game have the sewers? Ratchet 3 is the sewer. Okay. Okay, yeah, you're right. I remember the second game had the had the sand and ice deserts, and then the third game they ton they brought reeled it back to just the one get just the one place to collect crystals. Get them sewer crystals. Uh, sewer crystals. Also, I want. You're down here in the desert by you looking for sand sharks. It's very common wildlife. They do not take kindly to flamethrowers, sir. So we're gonna walk up and use a flamethrower on them. Should be fun. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Direct Dynasty. I scream like a pig! the breeder? No, you just keep killing him. Is there one here? Yep. Three left. Where are they? I will find you. I will torch you. It's... Just this, uh, this is kindly old, uh, hillbilly living in the boonies. Is just... kindly? I, I... I mean, to things he's not killing, I'm sure. I'm sure he's hit at like uh, parties. Oh yeah, that's Billy Bob. He likes to kill stuff. As long as you're not something he likes to kill, he's pretty fun. Does Does he like to kill humans? No, pretty much just like pigs, small critters. <laughs> well, I don't know. What's his opinion on politics? Politics? <laughs> just let me kill my pigs in peace. But what if they take away your guns? Ah, screw it! I got a bow and arrow! I'd like to see him try! I like this guy. Uh... Oh yeah, wait, where are the little- wait! Oh no, there's somewhere on the map, check the map. This is a dead end. Uh... So there's- there's somewhere else in that desert, or else... Oh. Uh, did you just leave the planet? Oh no, you just in Oh, you can, you can replay them. Yeah. I can't wait to hear Oh, something. we can do them in other languages. Nice. I'll be back for that. Oh, there they are. I did it. Here, man. Catch. Crack. Hover, hover. Brand new Z3000. You can't even buy these. Well, I got a baby. Catch you dudes at the hoverboard races. You've just acquired a Gadgetron Z3000 hoverboard. Use your new hoverboard at the racetrack in Blackwater City. There you go. Alright, that's a job well done. Good old Rilgar. <laughs> oh, I remember Blackwater City. You remember the tube? <laughs> I think so. I, I, the drowning I'll... tube? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, you boy. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad they decided. Hey, we'll have we'll have them uh, drown if they stay too long underwater. Spire didn't give a fuck if he was underwater. No. Uh, apparently, uh, Rat uh, Ratch does. Do you think, uh, like, uh? MLP dragons, they pr they probably drown, right? They can't breathe underwater. Yeah. I mean, they can't breathe in lava, I don't think. So, uh, I guess, yeah, they, they can swim in lava. Spikes a fire dragon, Spyro's a water dragon. It's gotta be. <laughs> Except that the uh, Spyro also has flame breath. But he can't. He, but he's he a Skylander, so he's like an air dragon. I mean, he can't fly though. He can swim. He can breathe underwater. Oh, he's a water dragon. What kind of a dragon are you? I'm a water dragon. You breathe I'm... fire? All dragons breathe fire. But it's just something we do. I can breathe both in water and out of water. You breathe, you breathe bubbles underwater. Yeah. You breathe, you breathe bubbles just magically in that PS2 game. The PS2 game, which. 
Which I probably should try again now that I spent some time away from Spyro. You think so? Maybe. I uh, think you're thinking it will be better and it won't be. <laughs> I will admit that the frame rate and the awkward, uh, the awkwardness of the game really took a damper out of it. It was... It felt like playing, uh, that, uh, Worms game on the Xbox. The Which 3D one? one? Oh, the Worms 3D? Or... Yeah. I think they made a, they made a second Worms 3D. That uh, the Achievement Hunter guys have gone back to a couple yeah. times. There was one where the map I would always play was the oil rig. And it just... It wasn't a bad game. It didn't play like Worms Armageddon. It was no. much slower than that. And there was much less uh, strategizing because of the 3D nature of it. But. Yeah, 3D Worms has always been weird. It, it, still, it still plays like a Worms game, just in 3D. Which I guess is the goal. Yeah, they As, met their goal. As opposed to, uh, like, Mario and Sonic are kind of very different platformers between 2D and 3D. Like, I'd say Mario... Uh, Mario's about the same level of quality, if not better. Same quality, but it plays differently. There's yeah. a lot more parkour. Like, uh, they would adapt those to the 2D Marios later, a la yeah. New Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, and it, and it worked out pretty well. I played a, I played a bit of them. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It's also something we talked about uh, doing, but yeah. we want to get to Galaxy first. Yeah, we want to get to Galaxy because because uh, that's a game I've never played. I guess when we catch up on the 3D Mario's, we can uh, do some uh, new Super Mario Brothers just for yeah. the co-op. I want to be Blue Toad," said no one ever. That's I don't really really get why there's such a big demand for a Bandana Waddle D in Smash because he's he's but, just Blue Toad so but Kirby. He's player four. Bandana Blue <laughs> Are people seriously, like, like requesting that? They, they do. There's a big, I mean big, there's a substantial demand for are Bandana sure Waddle D. Are we sure it's not ironic? No they're, no, they're adamant about it. They think it's a great idea. Okay. While the other three maybe, Kirby characters You know characters what, it comes off as kind of hypocritical considering we were hoping Waluigi would, uh, would be in Smash. Waluigi's got more- Waluigi's got a name! <laughs> <laughs> He's got a name! You're not named! Fuck off! It's kind of the opposite problem as, uh, Kamek, who is a character with a name, but no character. Oh, what did we get? He's just a Magikoopa who happens to have a name. That's all Kamek is. Oh, we, we got the hacking tool. We did. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's hacking in this game. Oh. Can we sell these? No. That'd be nice. Wasn't there... A, I thought I remember there being a, uh, a sales guy here. No? I guess not. Must be thinking of a different area. Uh... Maybe he's here, maybe he's, uh... Oh, this is... Good old trespasser. Invinsolock. <laughs> yeah, it's a lock uh, that's impervious to damage. I get it. Oh, here's... No? Where am I thinking of that that guy is at? Uh... I think another planet? I guess so. go down on this planet. Alright. The... this one. Hey. What? Seriously, what are you doing? It won't come- OH GOD, HE'S GOT A GUN! Golden Chickenator is worth it. Well, I guess we know what gold weapon we'll be getting. I thought it was the Cluckinator. I thought it was too. Because they're not chickens, they're clucks. I mean, they are chickens, I think. I think they're called chickens. The Cuckinator! Oh the no, I want it! I want The Cockinator! It's funny because it was just like, oh no, I'm on a ledge going towards you, whatever will I blast? Ratchet turns Link into Cuckoo, thinks he's won. 
hits Cuckoo. Link wins. You think you've won this battle? Yeah, I can't. Hey, guess guess who's in uh in the strip game? The strip game? Yeah. Poke uh, oh, inventory. Link. Yeah. But does he speak? Uh. Depends on your definition of speech. Is it ellipsis? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I was supposed to go down there, wasn't I? You, yes. There's no full damage, is there? No. Okay. Oh. Most... I'd say most platformers don't have that. For, good, for the better. Most good flat, platformers. There's some that do, but, uh... Mario 64. Spelunky. Spelunky had... Uh, Spelunky was meant to be hard, though. Yeah. So. This game, I wouldn't call it hard. Oh! Shit. Dump! There we go. Why you start from there? Just aim at me! I'm just... Get the crates! You're just walking by them! I missed this. I remember you doing this when we were playing at Job Corps, too. Just getting mad at you, ignoring things. Yeah. The hell what happened? <laughs> Explosives explode? I, that's, why, that's why I was waiting. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wait for this to play out. <laughs> Oh, that's wrench right! wrench is magnetic, it collects bolts. Yeah, it's a magnetic wrench. It gets more magnetic with upgrades, but, uh, still pretty good now. Just the explosive factory, I guess? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I can just do this. Uh, it's, we're not supposed to have the health pack yet. Oh, what were we supposed to do? Uh, just climb the climb the ledge, grab onto it. Oh. Uh, not that it matters. They're they're pretty generous with the uh, life and the ammo in this game. Yeah, it's uh it's not difficult very much. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's nothing. No, oh, that one's plugged. This weird fucking jazz. right now. It's a good number. So you can, uh, before you jump down anywhere, I don't know, you wants us to jump to the left. Uh, this is the regular way to go. We can, like, uh, go around this wall over there, and that's, uh, there's that area. Okay. Like, we can, like, glide over the, not from up here, from up top. Alright. There's, like, a whole other desert area over there with stuff. So we just go around this and go to there? No. Oh, we just, uh, hug the wall? Just hug the wall, do a glide, you might have to jump out of the stuff once. Alright. Yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, you don't even lose life doing that. Yeah, it's... I guess it's insta-kill. Oh, no, I'm out of there. So, down here is something? No, that's where you just were. Just okay. this whole... Check the map. This whole platform, this whole gray area is not... Is like a secret area. Oh, cool. So I don't know if there's a gold bolt somewhere here, or if it's just, uh... Maybe there's regular bolts around? No. Wally! Wally's immune to all damage. Oh, there it is. Just hanging out. Burn Walt. Nah, I'll, that's a spoiler. I'll save it, but... 
Yeah, there, I remember a scene from Wally. It was like ten years ago. Wally. Yeah, with the he gets resurrected and he just goes back to what he was doing and he just doesn't remember anything. And that was uh, sad. Yeah. But, but there's a lot of like silent comedy moments in that. Uh oh. It's fine. You can just climb back up. All the way. Yep. Oh no, that's we're out five seconds. It was a very non-verbal movie, which was I I count Wally's my favorite Pixar Pixar movie because of that. Yeah, it's hard to do non-verbal stuff nowadays, but. <laughs> um. So uh, I mentioned earlier in the car that John Moxley, formerly of WWE, he did a. No signal whatsoever. Oh, hold this on. This time is killing me. Do you need medical attention, sir? Don't be so literal, son. The problem is I'm stranded on this backwater planet and my star client is nowhere to be found. Hey, we saw you on that info bot. You're Skid's agent. Was Skid's agent. I haven't seen him since our ship crashed. And an agent without a client is like a flea without a You dog. only have one client? Hey, you look like an athletic kid. Maybe you can he's bring good. Back championship prize from the hoverboard races in Blackwater City. I'll make you my next. <laughs> just steal. Just ready to ditch him immediately. Hmm. I could be the next Skid McMars. I could be Eric Sparrow. <laughs> that, I could be Rob Didak. <laughs> that's that's just a Saiyan spaceship. That is literally. Oh, that's an escape pod. Remember, from oh, their ship. We ain't got magnet shoes. Sorry. All right, well, come be back later. We have to uh, start the next. Uh, Bring the prize from the hoverboard race. We have to start the next uh, section. Why? Why could we not use that to get over? We gotta activate it from the that side. Yeah, it's uh, it's locked down. So. uh... Moxley uh, talked about like his time working in WWE. He's like, they just want me to do like this goofy shit. I'm not a prop comic. Is that the guy who was pissed that he wasn't like allowed to be him? Yeah, and he talked a bit more. So about he moved it. over to. He started AC. He moved over to AEW. It was started right. by a bunch of other wrestlers, and, okay. uh, and he's like, and the entire. 10 minutes I was cutting Rice. these promos. I felt like I accomplished Rice. more than I did my Rice. entire years in WWE. Rice. 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 Double checking. Uh, now we go. We go. Nah. Enough. We go. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the infinite loading screen to happen. Ah, uh, yeah. Board Executive Chairman Drex flagship. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. They finally Planetary finished their new tough. planet. Yes, sir. You and Trigon gets summoned and just with a wave of his hand at dead. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Ugh. Destroy everything. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Maximum asshole Drek. Business, 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 business. Business, business, business. Business, 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 business. The scummiest villains are always, like, corporate super giants. As it should be, because they have the most power right now. Like, remember when it, like, ate, like, uh, older tales where villains were sometimes kings? Yeah. Yeah, that, the same principle. You always, you always punch up. You don't really punch down, unless you don't make a big deal out of it. Okay. So where are we? From my perspective, the Jedi are evil. <laughs> Ooh, that's expensive. Glove of Doom. Oh yeah, that summons the that summons the, the drones, right? I remember it's very powerful, but it's very expensive. Yeah. I, it's not really man it's not really a necessary one, so maybe yeah. we should wait and see what the next planet's thing is. Yeah. So we're on the next This planet looks like the same as the other planet. Very green. Oh here here's one of the ones that I remember there's a skill point for shooting stuff down. Go for it. Fuck off. I like how how uh, Ratchet is just a rogue agent. Yeah. 
just doing his own thing. Yeah. He just always was kind of like a rogue agent to the point where later on in the game, people actually rec- I, Do they recognize him or is it just like, uh... To some degree. He gets a little bit of, a little yeah, bit of he notice. Gets, he, gets, he gets it better in some games than others. So like, those, I like to think those are uh, Chairman Drex uh, robots and shit. Yeah. I mean, they are. They're getting the, the trees, right? The logging yeah. stuff. Destroy it. I want to say it's like ten things we gotta shoot down. So he's causing, like, billions of bolts and damage. This is... Welcome to Watchdog 0.5. Fuck the corporations. <laughs> I was always, like... I mean... In a way, corporations hoarding all that, like, media for themselves to... There we go. That that's kind of goes back to our point about, uh, about archival, is that it's better to have many different people doing the archival process as possible, and, like, of the redundancy. Because if you have one person doing it, it just takes one fuck-up, right? Yeah. But if other people do it, then we can't control the media! Exactly, that's what it comes down to. Does his title get longer every time it comes up? Yes, that was that was the joke with Drek. Yeah. Supreme Ultimate Executive Commander Chairman Drek. <laughs> Chairman <laughs> Trump. Is that was that some you think this was supposed to be like a knock at Trump? Hello. Just... What's oh. with this texture? This is a cool texture. <laughs> I, what the fuck? Ratchet, we appear to have discovered an anomaly in space time. <laughs> Ah. That's cool, Clank, but it's not the M.O. here. <laughs> it's It appears to, it's a rock that stretches. It's a mirror. It's actually... I've, I've always noticed that every time I get to this point in the game. It's just a, a visual bug. It is a... It's interesting. It's harmless, ultimately. It's the whole texture. You see that? Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Maybe it's just the way this planet is. The rocks are, like, really shiny. Yeah, it's normal here. It's... It's an alien world, it's normal here. If this was happening in, like, Las Vegas, then I would be concerned. We never go to a... I guess we do kind of go to a casino world in uh, Ratchet & Clank. That was the... I want to say Ratchet 2. Uh, at that station. One of the arenas was there, and it was like there were slot machines all over the level that you could use or destroy. Oh, uh, yeah. And I think occasionally you use them too much, then uh, then they just blow up anyway. Yeah, because you could get uh, three bombs on them. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So in the, in later games, you would just get to a, something like this and just press the button instead of having to manually get the thing out. Oh, that one blocks you. Yeah, these. You're really good at, like, getting through the, those. Yeah. Well, wasn't it that you were getting frustrated at me when we were playing this at job? What? What the? You just sure showed him. I suppose I did. Maybe? I don't remember. He just left? He just, he scared him off. Oh, it's Is your the... current occupation leaving a rotten taste in your mouth? Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive BTRS? Chairman. BTRS? And we here at He's... BTS are seeking both of Supreme Executive Chairman Drake. positions in these exciting careers. Grind group tester, warhead assembly technician, mutant animal husbandry, robot repair man. Suck cannon test dummy Ooh. and administrative assistant. So call B. The suck cannon. Build our weapon while you build your future. I'm calling BTS the bird. <sighs> now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am. Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him what Chairman <laughs> is? I suppose. I'm good at this BSing thing. Talk to the scientists. They work for Drek. 
So they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. I mean, it's not like you have any other options. You're just kind of, you're following whatever info bots you find. We're just doing, we're just trying to find our, our fucking, like, uh... Get back to the main area. Yeah. Finish the loop. Ratchet, do you ever feel as though our route in life is predetermined? As if we don't really have a choice in the matter. You're talking about fake, Clank? Fake? Fate, Clank? Fate. <laughs> fake. Fake. <laughs> That's what they call fate. It's just the illusion that uh, that free will exists. That's uh, that's what fake. The concept of fake is. It's a weird uh, space. Uh, no arena on that level, giant Clank. Though I think we're thinking of two different levels, Charles. Yeah. This tree is happy. Look at it. Look at this. It looks like a fucking puppet. Is this a super happy tree? Yay! Look at that. I don't know if it's wise to mess with the Digidestin puppet, Mom. You might be that biting off more than you can chew with that ratchet! That ratchet. Yep, I'm going the right way. A right way. Only one hit, huh? A little soft blade, fellas? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Every planet tends to have a fodder class, a little one-hit fella. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Those warping rocks are the key to warp speed. <laughs> they, they, that's what this uh, planet is for. They harvest these rocks. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. The one with the limo on it. Oh yeah, uh, Clank does turn giant in that level, doesn't he? I don't think so. Well, we'll find out. By the Glove of Doom, it's super effective on the space station level. Oh, the one we're about to? Go to? Cool. So much cash! Endless cash! Hit the lever! Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Konami were the people who did Yu-Gi-Oh, weren't they? Yeah. Oh man. No wonder they stopped making video games. They they had a cash cow franchise of card games. It's like if Wizards of the Coast uh, decided they were going to do start doing uh or stop doing video games and start doing card games. I guess. I, I mean, Konami's known was known pretty well for both of them. Go. There, you're dead now. Dodge. Nope. Am I going the right way? Yep, I am. Oh, I missed something. Hold on. You see that? Right there? Yeah, I missed that. Oh yeah, that's right. What? What yeah. are you doing? I just realized he uh, he has uh, he has a uh, he can do flips in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that shit. Oh, that'll be important later. <laughs> yeah, no, it won't. 
I don't remember it ever being important. You're, uh, you're forgetting about something. The, you're talking about the, the, the glitch back certain, here? Uh, certain glitch? Uh, certain glitch. We'll get, oh, we'll get to is that it. A, is, was that a glitch or was that intended? Yeah, I get it true. Uh, can you bomb this? Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Other side? No? Huh. Okay, that's Wait. odd. Oh. Okay, I, I get it now. What? Wait, what the fuck? What was that sound? What are you doing? I thought I heard something. You're too impatient. You're too slow. Is, this, is it gonna be yelling at me? Is that the reversal for this one? It's just, uh... God damn it, Jack! Uh, I missed this room over here. Oh. Uh, down, down here. Let's see if I can get into it really quickly. Uh, looks... Yep. Oh no, we're killing the tree! Are we? Why, well, we're... Killing the stump! Is that it? Those crates? That seems to be it. This game, but with gems. You know, for collecting all the crates. Is it? Did they? Don't they expect you to do that in later games? I don't think so. No. I guess that's not in any of the ratchets. I guess it's your ceiling up there. All right, I can do that. I I, I, I can deal with that. You know what? At least, uh, at least there are speed options in this game. Yeah. I don't know if speedrunners use this or if they glitch out. It's not quite as quick as the Mario long jump, but at least it's a long jump. Okay, so yeah, the jump attack definitely deals more damage. Because you one-shotted one of them with it. Yeah. So it's worth, uh, yeah, two uh, regular attacks. Got him. Spray and pray. Oh, shit. That was close. Let's get here. So, this game is basically just, oh, we gotta find Captain Quark, but we'll just do everything ourselves because we're not real heroes. Or are we? They're looking for Quark, and they're just not finding him. Hey, Quark, you you want to help us out? We can really use an extra set of hands on this, and you know, you're a legend. Um, I think. Uh, am I going up on this tree? Go back first. This is the regular way to go. Uh, what did I miss? Oh, okay. Oh. Hello. Ah! I'm up here. You can't get me. Starts cutting tree down. These guys are just... 
No, I want to destroy the planet so that nothing else gets out. Attack and the power of Juju is basically the same. It's the same how. Like, in what regard? Alright. Oh. It's good of him to dodge everything. Yeah. So we have enough for it. Now, we'll get to the next level and see what is uh, see what's available. I think we might be able to get the missile launcher next level. Missile launcher is more e well. Hmm. We'll see. Both are useful. Uh... It's just you know what I, I have to admit that. Uh, Think. Long jump or uh, high jump? I think you should go turn the wrench on the thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Totally forgot about that. The whole game is you going around trying to get the supposed hero. Uh, that's right, I vaguely, I vaguely you, remember that. But you were the hero the entire time. The hero lock. That, what was up with... Was it this? You got turned into a sheep. Oh. Long or high? Long jump. You had to you had to lift the curse on him being a sheep so that he could beat the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> Come at me, bro. The giant enemies from Spyro, except Spyro has a gun. Wait, when did I get the glove of doom? Is it just out of other ammo to give you? You don't have it. <laughs> wow, whatever. Here, have this. Have some You'll need it eventually. Good game, you guys played. I I have played TAC. I, have I do, I've never actually beaten it though, because uh, there's a point in the game where you need like all of the all of the orbs, or you need a very large number of them. And I would always just hit a roadblock with the the sandboarding level. I was ne I would never be able to uh, navigate that well enough and find enough of them. It was just a pain in the ass level. I'll try it. Maybe I could. Last year was pretty good. I wish I wish there was a lock on in this game. Yeah. Wait. That's for the wrench. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, even in the next game. It's a upgrade. You have to, I think, get weapon by weapon. You have to unlock lock locking yeah. onto things for each weapon. It's not a universal feature. It's so. I think game three becomes universal. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's still uh, a thing you have to get in that one. All right. We've been pretty good so far. Oh. Lead. If you don't lead, you're gonna be sunk. You're gonna leave him alone. Oh yeah, that's right, there's friendly fire in this game. Yeah. Come and get me! Perhaps I was not the defective one. You are all fucking stupid. <laughs> we get... Uh, Sweet. can't Suck. believe you suffer from Crash but get defeated by Tack. Well, Crash is platforming. Oh yeah, this also gets... Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a useful weapon that because it doesn't take any ammo. It's also surprisingly strong. It is very strong. I just, I just wish you had upgrades. You can suck in crates too, can't you? Yeah, not that one though. That's different. Uh, let me get back to the re regular loop. I think we're done with this uh, planet. I think that was the last route, right? Alright. 
That sounds about right. Just so I once you suck. hold off, you then. Uh... It's Pretty like strong. A... Pretty it's long like a... range too. It's like a grenade launcher almost. All right, long jump. Oh, oh, you. I... Can I blow open, like, uh, balls? Probably. Huh? I wonder. Yeah, it looks like it could with that explosion. Also, now we found the new best weapon to take out, like, mobs. Yeah. Uh, flamethrower is good if you don't want to use suck cannon ammo, but otherwise it's, it's superior. You're working at five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm working late today. No. It's almost three now. Patrick Warburton voices voices lock. I remember that. Oh. Right. Patrick Warburton did video games? Yeah, he did. He's in everything. <laughs> I like uh, he, I like Warburton. He's a uh, he's Brock, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good and stuff. Patrick. He was. He was, he played a, a, a tragic character in B-movie. Who was he? Oh, that's right, yeah, he, he was the, the, the quote-unquote husband. Yeah. Boyfriend? Not really husband? You can open that if you want to. Because she broke up with him over a B. I don't think it was over the B. The B just, like, made it clear that the guy was a dick. Maybe he broke up with her because she was sloshed all the time. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just uh, hanging out with my bee. Honey, we've been over this. You drink too much. I got some great Taunter, parties. very important. Yeah, we can buy both of them. Fuck it. Sweet. What's the taunter do? That's the... Uh... Oh, it doesn't show the glove of doom. <laughs> hey, idiot! Oh, by, by the way... It pisses off enemies, and it, uh, it does destroy crates, which is important for grinding bolts. Yeah. You called it the boombox or something. Or uh, do you want to, uh, do you want to do the clank portion? Uh, why? Because you don't want to do it? Not really. <laughs> but, uh, but I want to, but, but they're fun, but then that means I don't get to do the fun stuff in this level. Fine, I'll do it. I don't know. What uh what uh, what uh are the uh, objectives here? What are huh? What are the objectives here? Uh, there's a path that has the there's a path that has the you got rid of the flamethrower, didn't you? Oh whoops! I guess I can put it on like uh, one of the unused ones. It's fine. And we have the suck cannon. Yeah. Oh. Come with me, friends. Friends, let us go. You all work for me now. <laughs> that G-Man inflection, though. Harry, here, here we go. No? Why, huh? I th you said you didn't want to do it. I said I didn't want to, but I'd be willing to if you didn't want to. I'll just, I'll do it and you can have another one. Fine. Platforms are the most fun to play uh, on this channel, but we also bicker the most on yeah. doing them. Clank does more to contribute than Daxter does. Yeah. What does Daxter do? Just sits on the shoulder, Jump. makes wise remarks, and that's it. Please say something, uh... Jack, I'm gonna kill Praxis. Yeah, I'm I'm a helicopter now. <laughs> I 
He's just punching out frogs. Yep. Just splattering them. It's okay, they're out of their element. They're in the cold vacuum of space. the space station for some reason. Ah, uh, for robots. I mean, robots don't need to breathe. Do they need weird curved walkways? Uh. On a space station that still has gravity for some reason. I could fall off this. That's what the curves are for. Oh, uh, there's a bolt up there. You didn't get it? How do I get to that? Hold on. Ooh. Ugh. If I had destroyed some crates, I would have needed to get that. Oh, well, we can always come back here. It's not like this game is a pain to navigate, really. Or, like, get from place to place. This game is, is pretty centralized. Can I climb these? It looks like I could climb them. No, I just go through them. <laughs> that, that's weird. It's holographic. The actual wall is shittier than that. You climb the obvious ladder. This one? That's the one we tried to climb? No, that's probably something else. Nope, no climbing this. Uh, that one? No, 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 turn around. 180... This is that where one. we came from. Oh. This Eight. was the start of the section. Okay. Let's go back and wander a bit. I don't think it's that way. No, we're not gonna be able to hover from here. Check the map. We looked at the map. Uh. It appears as though there's path. Like the big circular one, perhaps. Or wait up there. What? Up the question mark. That's the goal. Yeah. So that's the path of the circular one up there. Way up there. Huh. Seems like it's uh out of range too. Gotta come back as Ratchet. That's right, we get the O2 mask. Oh yeah. Later on. That makes sense. A yeah. lot of a lot of coming back after you get upgrades in this game. Yeah, it's a it was it was a it was the time. I mean, Metroid Prime Prime was popular. Yeah, got a curve from that a little bit. It was, Metroid in general did that. Yeah, but I'm saying that Metroid Prime was around this generation, so and Metroid Prime was an obscenely popular game. So. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta stand on my tippy toes. Oh, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna grab it. Alright, and. Do you get your phone? Yeah, I do. I... You can bring up the chat, be able to read it. If you, you so wanted. Yeah, that's true. Because it just st kind of stops when I'm playing. Hold down the triangle button and select wait, follow, attack, or enter. I have attack robots. Captain C. Blowing poker mins. No, not, not the poker mins. Oh, that's right, you can command them to do stuff. Yep. Alright, we get the thingy, the hydro suck device. Hydro. Hydrositor? The hydrositor. That allows us to go 
faster underwater. <laughs> no, it allows us to suck up quantities of water. Oh. Yeah! Now turn it on! Oh. The Gadgetron Hydro Displacer uses insta faucets and insta tanks. Using it, you can drain and fill pools. Our sensors do not detect any on this space station. <laughs> Thank you for pools. You just raise and lower the water level to your heart's content. Gonna need that in Blackwater City. Oh, that's that's gonna be rough. Displacer. Great. I always wanted one of those. I guess. <laughs> so, you know, Ratchet, sometimes you can be kind of a dick. Yeah. Clank's trying to work with you. I need to use the taunter, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's just one of those megaphones. Alright, next next to area over here. Yep. What? I said yes. Actually I think there's two routes on this, uh go left or right. Uh which way do I really want to go? Uh yeah, I'll go I'll go this way. Oh, there's four things on here that wait. Can I Oh, okay, cool. I'm going this way then. Frogs! That's fine. He's not harming me. Not yet, anyway. Oh no, they're harming me! Oh yeah, that's right. There's no, uh. I, the flamethrower's gone. You can, uh, re equip it. Wait, hold on. Like on the taunter or something. We got the suck cannon, though. I think it only takes five? Yeah, five. We can upgrade it later, but... Well, we can get an upgraded version. Oh. He is unaffected. He is too big to suck! Too big to suck. Need a little help with these enemies? Try your taunter. Ooh. I like the way you think, uh, help bot. Ha! Ha ha! You are idiot! You are idiots, and then it. Hold on. I gotta destroy these things, because they're worth money and scrap. This whole game is just is just the uncle. I can sell this! I can sell this. I, I like that. That's some, uh, that's some enterprising from him. Ratchet in the scrap metal business. Here's the ball can do, I guess. Yes. Honestly, I never find that that useful. Maybe we should put the flamethrower on that. The suck cannon? Suck cannon? Over the... Yeah. The Glove of Doom. But I don't care, you put it wherever you want. Oh. Not there goes the blaster. Uh, it's Glove of Doom. Uh, over Suck Cannon, or...? Whatever. I, again, I just use the wrench. Okay. I feel like Glove of Doom would be useful at certain points. Suck Cannon. I'll just do that. Alright, uh... God, Jack, you're not done yet. I keep. This is uh, this is one of the harder ones because it's totally optional. This uh, room. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, almost. Wait, oh. I'm looking forward to the harder levels getting on you so you get punished for being bad. I I 
I don't remember just ever having to really use anything but the wrench until, like, the final return to Elden, at which point I would use the Visibomb a lot, and that was about it. Why well, we got some ammo? Where's all the health? What a great weapon the Visibomb gun is. I, I, I have to remember it, because... The first-person guided missile. Oh, that's a good weapon! I was and glad it returned in two, but it, because it was uh, a returning weapon, you couldn't upgrade it. It just had the one stage. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're correct on that. Back to me. <sighs> they looked like floors. Uh, to, to my defense, they looked like they were floors. Take a while to get through stuff, don't I? I just gotta take my time. Kinda. <laughs> You're angry. Are you angry about it? You no. seem a bit angry. I'm not angry. You just. It's... I, mean, I just. I just like to get through stuff and on to other stuff. Those are things. Oh, okay. Bye. I like how I've kind of sold you on the flamethrower a little bit. If the suck cam cannon had more uh, more slots for enemies, it wouldn't be as much a problem. If it had a maximum cap but you could suck it as much as you want, then it'd be a better flamethrower, which is probably why they didn't do it like that. They, it gets better in uh, later games. It has like a cap of like 15. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's an entire mob right there. Oh man, this part looks so fun too. Does it? Yeah, just for scaling and platforming. Yeah, that German robot appears later in the series, right? German robot? The one that appeared earlier. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Also, that blaster fires energy blasts, but... It, uh, it, it sounds like machine gun fire. Yeah. As opposed to four kids' guns, which fire bullets, but sound like lasers. Yes. <laughs> just... Uh, the third game did a good job. It, it just brought a bunch of characters back from the first two. Yeah. Well, oh. most, most of the first one. And there's some other iconic characters as well. Oh, no! You said, know what to do, you're outside of the room. <laughs> Idiot. He shot me. He shot me multiple times. Hey, you cannot get me. I'm over here now. Hey. Hey. No. I am, you know, I'm, uh, I'm reminded of in Metroid Prime, there were certain, uh, enemies that required a certain beam to, to, like, defeat them, but you could get, like, uh, upgrades which allowed you to, uh, to get, like, uh, specials where if you charge up, uh, a certain beam and you hit the missile button, you fire that, like, that beam, just... Yeah. And it was like, it was almost it was always worth it to just use the missiles to do it. Because you get like over 200 of them if you're really searching for them. Yeah, it is, uh. Oh, yeah, I really enjoyed this breeze. Suddenly, cave. Weren't we on a space station? Maybe it's, uh, maybe they built it into a land, like a. maybe meteor. Oh, get the flamethrower out. I am outside the room now. You, you, 
You guys need to go. It's... By the way, you remember that uh, El Song uh, Weasel Stomping Day? Yeah. What was the context for that? It was just weird. I was like, hey, is we I'm going to make a song called Weasel Stomping Day. Just making fun of uh, traditions is all. Yeah. That makes sense. Wasn't any particular, like, target. <laughs> People who hate weasels. I'd say uh, after, after this level, we should call it. Alright. You, you, you feel like you can get more done? No, that's fine. Got through a good uh, chunk of the game. Yeah, this game's this game is actually shorter than I remember. If you're not going for everything, I mean, even if you are going for everything, again, it's just the gold bolts are the only collectibles, so it's not a ton. Yeah. Platformers tend to be on the shorter side. The sequels are longer for sure. Yeah. I think was this was the first gold bolt that uh, I ever found because this one's kind of one of the obvious ones. Makes sense. You were like wondering, what is this? Just hanging out in a room up here. <laughs> That's something that, uh, that's uh, what the meme world stuff is, it's stuff that people find charmingly bad. Yeah? That's why the room was, got popular. So, Jojo? Or... <laughs> Man! I mean, you said it, not me. Well, the stuff that, like, the non-shows that are memeable. Yeah? Just, so, Shows are the there exception. There's some that are good, some that are bad, and, uh... It goes back to my point of there's two stuff people like. There's two kinds of things people like. Stuff that's good and stuff that's memorable. Yeah. Oh, great. It's pretty much just the memorable stuff for me. He just wants to... I thought it was just the good stuff for you. Uh, it has to be good. It, it doesn't matter if it's good if it's not memorable to me. Oh. Like, I, I don't care if Walking Dead is the best zombie show ever conceived because it's the two millionth zombie show conceived, so <laughs> I don't care. I'm not going to watch it. Oh, there's a boss battle. Oh, I got lot missed out on the boss battle. Oh, no. It is defeated. The first phase is... Oh, you know what I should do? Where's the suck? Do I have the suck? We got rid of the suck. You could, you could equip it. You know how easy it would be to just go and equip it? I guess I could also use the Glove of Doom, though. Yeah. Cover one. Ow! Yeah, look at that damage. Oh, I should have, uh... Well, I'll come back here later. There's, uh, there's a, a skill point for defeating her with just the wrench. Oh... Ow! Good job. Good job, as if I did anything. Well, you, you tossed them, and you grabbed the health. I was worried about you not having the health. Hey, guess that. You are the bomb. Man, if only you, there was an animation, more animation in games to throw bombs in the in giant enemies' mouths. Yeah. I cannot is... wait to bomb Queen Aliens. <laughs> there was a scene in Starship Troopers where, like, a character manages to toss a grenade inside this giant bug's mouth and causes its head to just explode, right? Yeah. Just, boom, and then she's like, Yeah, woo, did you see what I did? And the guy's like, No, watch out! And then she immediately gets, uh, gets, like, stabbed multiple times by a bug. It's just, like, the, the greatest accomplishment, and then your lowest point. In like the span of 20 seconds. Rough day, huh, yeah. buddy? Man, I'm sorry you had to go through this. Whew. Thought I was a goner this time. Some nano whip in genetics must have left the cages open again. You could come down now. Honestly, 
A gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect, if you ask me. Oh, you work so with that other you dude? Are an inventor. Gadget engineer. I create revolutionary devices for Executive Chairman Drek. For instance, Viola. My soon to be patented grind. I wonder how we would have said that in Italian. Look, I, I, I need to get out of here so I can find a new job. How about I sell you these? At cost. Sell? After we just saved your scrawny butt? All right, all right. I'll give you the employee discount too. <laughs> Two thousand. Okay. <laughs> Going up. I'm going to get out of here while I still can. It's expensive shit. We got the hoverboard for free. <laughs> How did you miss the swing shot to Golden Bolt? Uh, oops. Shit, how are we not paying attention to this? I don't know. Am I distracting? No. Oh, hey! We, we need special boots for this. We're not as cool as Sonic. Or Sora. We're grinding up the ra- That's how cool we are! Meanwhile, Tony Hawk is behind him. Just, Tony just Hawk could be going minutes. faster than this. Oh, yeah. Tony Hawk could just whiz on by. What's the hold up? Move faster! Did we open this? So it's, uh, oh, it's, the, it's uh, Ratchet, uh, Tony, and Sonic just grinding on three separate beams. Yeah. Just in. And Tony's the fastest. <laughs> like, Sonic goes fast on rails, but only Tony can gain momentum. Yeah, he, by doing flips and shit. Which will take you to a decommissioned large warship. Take me. Let's go. Whack it till it leaves. This is giant fucking lovers. You taking this one? Uh, yeah. I missed out on that boss battle, though. That, that, that we'll is... come back. I have to beat it with a wrench only. <laughs> so this is a decommissioned warship. This is a combat one. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of combat. Uh oh. Was it in the room with the uh, the multiple swing shot targets? Because I remembered something in there, but I couldn't. I, I looked back and didn't see anything. Can't sell that. Nope. Not useful materials. I guess I'll just use my gun. My machine gun. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Who's that from? Uh, Die Hard. Lolly with machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's that's just gunslinger girls. Or <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, the gunslinger girls, like that, uh, that, uh, show where... They, a bunch of Italian, pe like, uh, like, government agents, like, we're like, hey, you know what we could do, right? Battle lollies. And hear me out. We take these girls, right, we make them cyborgs, and we make them gunslingers, and then we, they can be the perfect assassins. Yeah. And, uh, that was section two. Not to be confused with section nine from Ghost yeah. of the Shell. Yeah, and then section one, the regular cops were just like, <laughs> Yeah, this division's fucked up. Oh, well. Didn't we see, like, a Section 6 or something? In another anime or, or such? Uh, there is a Section... I six. feel like we've gotten four sections so far. With that, Section 9, and there was another one we saw. Uh... So we got regular cops, Section 1. Uh... Cyborg... Cyborg Little Girls, Section 2. Public Security, Section 9. Uh, wasn't there, uh, there, there, in the Ghost in the Shell movie, there was, like, a Section 6, they were the Rangers? Was that it? I think so. Oh, crap. Well, the Doom, maybe, would be good. Yeah, I, I need to do something at the very least. Yeah, these guys suck. Leave the room, it's their one weakness. They can't, they can't, it's their territory. Just toss some little robots in there, deal with them. These seem like enemies that were made for the Glove of Doom. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, cool. Eh. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll, uh, we'll worry more about the golden bolts when we have the, all the upgrades and, like, full mobility. Yeah. If we decide to get them all, then we'll, we'll like, uh, we'll come back at the end of the We're game. We're probably realistically close to 50% of our potential right now. All right. <laughs> Do I need to hit the switch button? Press the big red the shiny, shiny button. The big red shiny candy like button. What does this button do? Oh man, I gotta see that clip from Ren and Stimpy again. Ratchet, get out of my laboratory! Thank you for selecting our automated self-destruct feature. Vessel annihilation sequence initiated. Please oh, remove uh... all personal belongings. Oh shit. Do I even need to fight these guys now? I just no. avoid them. Nice, are... nice to see that the self-destruct sequence doesn't interfere with the poison spray working. Ratchet, why are we? Kind of looks like Opa Opa, this spaceship. Yeah, I get. You're right. Peace and love. <laughs> That's all Opa it Opa, but with a giant th glove on. <laughs> Ratchet, why did we destroy it? I don't know, seemed like a good idea at the time. Alright, we got Blackwater City. Blackwater this is City. Ratch, reporting live from Blackwater City. We've just learned that Captain Cork will be presenting the grand prize at the Intergalactic Hoverboard Championship. Which will be held here over the next few days. Well, it would In related be. Related news: This planet has recently been suffering from an infestation of strange amoeboid creatures. The city's administration has assured this reporter that every step has been taken to eradicate these nuisances. Darling Ratch, Channel Two News. <laughs> oh, just. I think we see her later. Yes. Yeah. She survives this. Right. Uh, she's fine. They can't digest right. robots. I was talking about the hoverboard. Unconcerned. <laughs> Unconcerned. Eh, it's fine. They said it would be fine, so it should be fine. This is the first who has that mentality, and then the second uh, the, something doesn't goes wrong and they get hurt, they just sue them for everything. To, to oblivion. Just hop over to the next planet and save, and then we'll be done. We need it. We need a natural predator that devours corporations. Yeah, just like one a person like that. I mean, it's kind of the internet. They they sure don't know how to adapt to that. Their internet existing. Yeah, they're still having trouble. Oh no, young people aren't buying our products anymore. Put more commercials on the telly. On oh, the the telly. FM radios where it's at. It's black. Oh, is this the next one we're going to after the after the previous one? Yeah. Cool. Get that Adam Sandler kid. They like him. Oh man, what a slum. Oh. All right. That was good. next time. Solid two hours. See, look at look at that. Uh, your your that's your hundred percent file up there, right? The one with ten thirty on it. Uh. So I, I, I must have just gotten to starting that in two hours, so we're about on par, I guess, right. for that. So, five streams total. 10.30 is my 100% file, looks like, yeah. Oh, so under that, then. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll, this game's this game's good. Alright. We'll start Galaxy soon. Hopefully, yeah. Soon. Well, we, we still got it. We're, we're close to finishing Tony Hawk and uh, Battle Network 2, so yeah. those will be knocked off soon. Yeah. And once we get those done, the one RPG uh, 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 at a time. Try to go down to that. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Yep. Thanks for hanging out, Charles. Yep. And we'll uh, see you next time. See you next time.